we have to remind ourselves that 90, 95% of serving personnel who leave the military are going to have a hugely successful time and we need to remind ourselves of that. Uh, but for those who find it challenging, even those who ultimately are successful but have encountered challenges, um, it's really useful to understand what those are so we can remove those barriers to a smooth transition for everyone. Now, you know, we've made giant strides, uh, I feel, over the last few years, but we still have a way to go. And I, I hear that when I'm talking to people who've left the services and gone into civilian life, and they'll talk to you about, you know, some of the things they encounter, things that they didn't expect. And there's that kind of psyche of leaving the military and that what you know, what you've known for years, and stepping into an environment that's completely different. And even the language that's used, the terminology. You know, I've talked to certain personnel who have said to me that when they, they left the military, they really struggled to be understood because they talked in a way that their new colleagues just didn't get, and they found that really unsettling. And that's why one of the things I think that comes out of this is to think more closely about the transitions and the, the nature and length of the transition period so that people are more comfortable when they make, finally make that move uh, into the next stage in their lives.